today we're going to get a bit tricky and technical, but I promise it's not going to be too scary. And we're going to make a trifold brochure. Now I've got some super tricky tricks to show you. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, on Canva, and we go, you're on your main page and you're looking at all these templates. Uh, we will not be using the marketing materials trifold brochure because if you look at these uh, measurements, they're in inches and that's a US letter standard size. And that's not going to print out very well on A4. It's a little bit too wide, and a little bit too short. So what we need to do is make up our own a4 size sheet with trifold markings. Um, we can't use this one because it's vertical. We need a uh, landscape format, so we'll have to use custom size. So we've got 297 millimetres, make sure it's millimetres wide, and 210 millimetres high. That's standard A4 size. The first thing we need to do is divide that into three and I'll show you a really tricky way to do it. We can either put in that one. So the trickiest way to do it is this way, put in this photo grid, then as I showed you yesterday, control and the semicolon together and if you get your position in the right yeah, sorry, your cursor in the right spot, you'll come up with a double headed arrow. You just click and drag your cursor to where those lines are. There we go, bingo, that's so easy to make. And then we just get rid of the photo frames. There we've got our nice trifold brochure with our um, screen divided beautifully into three. So now we go about designing it. First of all, go into uploads. And we will put in a photo, make it the right size. Now, the tricky, tricky thing is to make sure that when you're when you're doing the trifold brochure, your cover of your trifold brochure will be on the right hand side because if you imagine this is in we're looking at the outside of your trifold brochure so this is the middle at the back this is the bit that falls in from the from the right and this is the bit that falls in from the left and that is the bit that sits on top now you need to make that because it's a cover, it needs to be an interesting part of your photo. It has to, this section here needs to stand alone as an interesting composition all on its own. So make your photo interesting. It has to have some kind of um, something happening in it. So we'll just use our photo, but we will flip it. So now we've got the stairs and the boat in the middle and we've got the little balcony there. All good, right. Now we need to put in some overlay. And because we're still doing our um, ease and flow kinesiology, what we'll do is we'll um, put that in. Actually, I might just zoom out a little bit so it's easier to deal with. Pop that until it's nice and vertical. And make it the right width. Make it a bit shorter and change its colour to our aqua and we might even make it a little bit transparent so we can see our steps through there. Um, then we will add in another section over here. change its um, colour and its transparency and we'll just check the transparency on this one. It's set at 86% so we'll do the same for this one so that it matches. 
Beautiful. Now we can zoom in a little bit and make sure that it's sitting where it's supposed to so that it looks neat. Make it a bit shorter. And we can zoom in a little bit more even. It's still not quite sitting there. Make it a tiny bit shorter. Yeah, all good. Nicely matched up. Alrighty, zoom out again. Now, that's the outside cover of our brochure and we just need to add in some text. So remember, just press the letter T anywhere on the, on your, um, while you're anywhere on your screen and then just um, type in your text. So we'll write in Now, the reason we're making this brochure is because it's going to be for an information evening because a lot of people still don't know what kinesiology is about. And I must admit, it took me a long time to know anything about what it was about. So I think the more people know about how you can help them, the better. We'll make it kinesiology, uh, sorry, Josephine Sands again, of course. And I'm going to show you something else. I'll make it a little bit larger first. Um, now Canva has this tricky, tricky way of you can actually change the colour of individual um, words within text box. It never used to be able to do that. But what we'll do is we'll make this one white. And we'll make kinesiology blah, um, our charcoal grey. And we'll also, you can also make it bold. You can do bold, combination of bold and plain within the same um, text box. This isn't something else you never used to be able to do with Canva. Question mark would probably be good if we're asking a question. All right. Now, the other thing is they're a little bit too far spaced apart so we will make it um, the line height a little bit less a little bit closer not too close here we go we might shift it up a bit because the next question someone's going to ask is how can it help me so put another win you can't within the same text box you cannot make them different sizes your text it has to be all the same the font has to be all the same size but you can make it different colors and you can use um, bold or italics within the within one text box so we'll make that how can it help me and we will also go in here and notice your document fonts will come up at the top the one, if, you're, if you've already used a uh, font within the um, design, it'll come up with that font there. So you might make that a little bit larger too. Make sure it's centred and we will also change it to charcoal grey. So it just make, makes it a little bit softer and a bit, a bit prettier. Okay. In our back section... First of all, we will pop in our logo, which our word mark, which we've made in PicMonkey yesterday. Pop it down there. Now, the other thing about that is notice that we've already, we, when we made it, we made it in black. Now, the ideal would be for you to make your word mark in a variety of your brand colours so that you have something that will go on every situation sometimes you'll be putting your logo or your word mark onto a white background some times you'll be putting it onto a dark background so you need something that's going to contrast with it uh, with those backgrounds every time and so it's good to have a variety of them in different colors but for this one we don't have we we don't have it in um charcoal gray but we can just go into filter because it is an image and we can adjust the brightness a little bit and that should make it a bit better. There we go, a bit softer. Right, so what we need to put in now as uh, 
we can just um, type in here. Free information evening. And whoops, information needs to have an I. And we'll make it Josephine Sands, of course. And a little bit bigger. And we also need to put in a uh, another text box with the where it's going to be, of course. So um, 7 p.m. 16th of March. Okay, so we've got our venue in there and our time, and we can just adjust the sizes of each of our elements. Zoom in. Sometimes it's easier to zoom in and uh, fiddle with the sizes that way. So again, we, we will um, adjust the spacing of that, make the line height a little bit closer together, and we might make that a bit smaller, just as long as it's there, make sure it's centered. Right, <clears throat> now, so you have grouped different amounts of uh, different types of information. We've got this is um, bolder by itself. Then we've got the venue and the time together. It's all the same size and it's sitting in a little group by itself. And then we have the um, URL right at the bottom. So we have different groups of information. It just makes it easier for your readers to read. So the next thing you need to do is actually um, put in some information over here and because it's the next thing after, remember how it's folded in, the first thing you see on the cover is what is kinesiology and how can it help me and then the next thing you'll see is this page over here and so what you can do there is ask a question or give them a little bit of a clue as to what you're about or something like this. Make sure it's there, centered, and we will make it stress fin sands. And there we go. So that's the um, back of, that's the outside of your brochure. Uh, we'll just add a new page. We don't need that photo. What we do need though, is we do need to add in um, a, now some more guidelines, we need to add in the guidelines again. So make sure we've got our um, double headed arrow. Here's our double headed arrow. And so we will um, put in our guidelines again. And get rid of that frame. Bingo. So we'll add in a new um, background photo. We might add in this one. And we can pop a box over the top where we can put some more information. This is just about getting people interested in coming along to your event. So it doesn't have to be huge amounts of information and that's nicely centered. We'll change the um, color to aqua and also change its transparency down to 86 was the other one. And then we can add in our text. 
So this can be, you want to create interest, so you just add in question it and same there and there and, and you just center them and they obviously change that to Josephine Sands again. And then we're all done. As before, the file sizes, okay, we'll just zoom out first. Oops, not too that far. So there was our little brochure, front and back. And what we can do is download it as whether it's a PNG, I don't recommend that. If you're going to print it out, you need to have it um, downloaded in the highest resolution possible. So you'll be downloading it as a print. So download all pages. If you want to add crop marks and bleed, only do that if you're intending to um, trim your pages with a guillotine. Otherwise, don't worry about that. It will just print out um, the whole thing on your A4. So that'll print out as a PDF and then you can just um, print it out on your home printer if you'd like to or we'll go to Officeworks, something like that. See, it's downloading as a PDF. Alrighty, I'll stop sharing my screen. That's it for today.